Alrighty, well, we can keep moving on this. Got the hood painted. Got a wet sand out of run. Uh, got the fender liners back in. Currently working on painting the frame. Uh, I'm gonna go over that with gloss black because that doesn't look very good. Um, got the antenna. <clears throat> but yeah, the frame, it's pretty clean. But it's just needs some paint. So I cleaned up the best I could and throwing some paint on it. Um, but yeah, that's where the paint is so far. Looks pretty good, I think. I mean, it's not going to be a, like if it was higher and blasted and painted it, but I mean, you know, good enough. Uh, I gotta build two bumper mounts. I just took the bumper off for now. Uh, but since it's an O, there's 2000 bumper actually <coughs> off of the 1500. Uh, it'll bolt on for the most part, but uh, the top mounts are different. So I gotta make different mounts. Um, I did a leather swap on this. Leather's pretty nice. It's got a little tear right there. But other than that, the seats are perfect. Uh, I also took the steering wheel controls out of another vehicle. Um, and then I got a Kenwood via or Kenwood radio out of that vehicle too. touch screen everything uh this radio work with your phone too which is nice there you go okay it cut out there because it connected to bluetooth but um yeah so all leather interior i've got the bose the center console It's up on blocks right now, so it's way off the ground. I'm going to be putting a center console in here in the back. So that'll look cool. Let me know if I should put badges on this. I'm still deciding if I want to put badges on it and the flares. I need to get a set of headlights. I mean, fog lights. Headlights are fine. I like the bug visor. That's staying. That's the center console that's going to go in the back. This is just a your normal center console. I cut it kind of in half. Cut the front off of it. And I got to get some trim to put this in. A piece of weather stripping. And that'll go in the front there. And then I'll just bolt it to the floor. Um, I gotta paint the hubcaps yet. And then I'll make a video when I start building the flatbed. Because I ordered metal for that. And I'm gonna build a full uh, flatbed myself. It's gonna have a big headache rack and everything. Uh, that'll be unique. Uh, so yeah, see how it turns out. I'll make a video when I get the wheels back on it, get it on the ground, take it outside. But tell me what you think. I don't think it's too bad. I'm gonna eventually put a set of steps on it. Um <clears throat> off of another vehicle. But yeah, I got the uh interior out of this Tahoe. This thing lit on fire, man. Bad. This is the parts vehicle right now. Look at that. This is gone. Nothing left. Got trans cooler still good, amazingly. 
I probably think so. I'll take that. But yeah. I'm guessing it's an electrical fire, but I really don't know. It doesn't matter. It's got a nice set of tires on it, too. BFGs. I'm going to put those in my Suburban. Yeah, this is a full interior when I started. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've stolen a lot of parts out of it. I'm going to take and put the bows in my Suburban as well. I just steal the window motor, shot speaker. I took the wiring out of the floor for the seats. Although I couldn't get the heated seats to work on my Duramax. Ah, this is so much wiring. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. I left it so I have the opportunity to. But for now, it's just got, I mean, they work. But. The heated seats don't work. It's not the end of the world. This isn't going to be much of a winter vehicle anyways. So, I'll have the Suburban for that. This is more of a, a tow pig for the summer. But, yeah. I'll make another video soon. But, tell me what you think.